Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, I have an amazing design picked out from the latest issue of Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts magazine. This is the Fall 2023 issue 92 edition of the magazine. And since this is the fall themed edition, I'm going to pick out a fall themed project. Now, this project is fall themed for me. It might not be for you, but how I depict it in my mind's eye, it is a fall project. I've already got the pattern section pulled out, the full size pattern, and I've got everything photocopied and attached to our material with clear packing tape. I never destroy the master patterns. I always keep these safe in a protective tote. And the pattern in question comes from page 63, and it is a Howlin' Wolf fretwork piece. Now again, in my mind's eye, I depict the wolf howling at the harvest moon on a crisp autumn night. And there's just a romance about fall, you know, and autumn with the leaves changing, the crispness in the air, you know, things are cooling off and we're ending summer here. So fall is fast approaching. There you see the beautiful design. It is designed by Sue May. She's an amazing pattern designer. And it's cut, this one here is cut by John Deck. So really, really neat. And the project here is depicted without a backer board as well as the one on the following page with a list of the materials you may need so you see it there now I've already got a piece of quarter inch material spray painted black and set aside drying to save on filming time just in case I do want to add a backer board to it we will decide when we get there and as I said the material is already prepped and I'm gonna be cutting out half inch material it's one half inch plywood and it's been a while since I've cut this I think it's gonna to add to that rustic vibe to it and then we will of course stain it a nice color but it's got some beautiful detail in it I love how it looks like it has a driftwood frame so this could also be a beach theme project for like driftwood or also hang in a rustic cabin or something or out in a rustic forest you know it could be that depiction but really really neat since everything is prepared let's move the camera draw all the pilot holes required so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling And over here on the workbench, I'm going to take the Seiko Scrollers drill and drill out all of the pilot holes for internal cutting. And you will notice that I have a backer board behind the piece that is to prevent blowout on the back side of the half inch plywood. Over here at the scroll saw, we're going to begin scrolling and we'll begin with some of the smaller details first before proceeding to some of the larger interior cuts. I always start with the smallest cuts and proceed to the bigger ones. And sometimes it does feel like it takes longer to actually change the blade out than it does to take to actually do a small internal cut. But I will take my time throughout this whole project and let the blade do the work and have on some good music. I am using a number 5 ultra reverse tooth blade for all of the cutting in this project. And it's cutting through the half inch plywood exceptionally well with minimal chip out. And that's always good when it comes time for sanding later on in the video. This project really brought back a lot of memories for me because when I very first started scroll sawing at the age of 14 and I had a couple smaller projects under my belt and wanted to proceed to some intermediate designs such as portraits of celebrities, all my grandfather had lying around the workshop was half inch plywood and that was what all those original intermediate patterns were cut from. So that brought back a lot of memories while I was cutting out this project. And again, in my mind's eye, this is a great fall design depicting the wolf howling at the harvest moon. And with me being part Native American on my mom's side and that lineage, I do know the representation of the wolf in the Native American culture. He is depicted as the warrior or the hunter. I know when I was a kid growing up, my mom had our living room decorated with a bunch of Native American stuff and wolves were very prominent that she had painted out of ceramics. If you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. And again, this pattern comes from the latest issue of Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts magazine. And the pattern is in the full size pattern pullout section included within the magazine. I always look forward to getting the amazing magazines by Fox Chapel Publishing and reading through all the articles and looking at all the new amazing patterns such as this one. We are about done with all of the internal cutting here, just a couple cuts to go. And I went through two blades cutting out this project. If you ever feel your scroll saw blade getting dull, 
go ahead and change it out because you do not want to risk the blade snapping in half and potentially breaking off some delicate scroll work such as the trees we're cutting out here. That would be very unfortunate if that ever happened. So always keep a sharp blade in your scroll saw. But coming along here, doing the final and largest internal cut. And then we can retension the blade and do the long outside cut, which will release the piece from the waste wood. And all the scroll work for now will be complete. We will be coming back to the scroll saw. And I'll remove the piece from the waste wood. We can get a visual here and onto sanded with 180 grit cling spore sandpaper in the palm sander. Again, I'm being careful sanding around the trees, making sure not to break them off. And I stained it with Minwax wood stain, making sure to saturate everything. And the more I looked at this project, the more I did want a backer board, so I was happy to have a piece of quarter inch plywood painted black off camera. And once everything was stained, we wiped off all the excess with a piece of t-shirt material and hung it on a hook to dry. And then it was time to attach the backer board with CA glue and activator. And I will use spring clamps and strips of wood. And the strips of wood help add pressure to those center details. And I will let this dry around five minutes to make sure the CA glue is cured before removing all the clamps and strips of wood. And we will come back to the scroll saw for the final time and trim out the backer board. I always make my backer boards a little bit oversized and do them in this manner. It just helps simulate that this is one solid piece of wood. And once we get all of this done, all of the scroll work will be done and then we will have to stain the sides and the back where we just cut. Once again going back to the Minwax wood stain and getting the borders here and I'll wipe them down in the back and once that dried I took it outside into the sun and gave it several coats of Rust-Oleum clear gloss for a finish and the project was complete. And here we have the completed Howlin' Wolf fretwork scene cut out completely on the scroll saw and it finished up amazingly well with some incredible detail. Thank you Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine for another fantastic pattern. I always look forward to getting those magazines in the mail and when I was sitting in the train room reading through it and I seen this pattern I know that I was going to have to cut it out. And thank you Sue May for an amazing pattern. She is the pattern designer and she has designed a ton of amazing scroll saw patterns in the past including this one that is very intricate. It took me around two hours to scroll everything out. It's a very tedious pattern. I just took my time and let the blade do the work. Of course when you cut out the trees here they can be very fragile and delicate and we cut this out of one half inch material so just be careful when you're cutting everything out and you should do fine. I just took my time and let the blade do the work as always and just had on some good music and zoned out in my hobby of scroll saw woodworking but really neat. Some of the standout features here of course I love the drift wood frame that is designed here to make it look like it's very rustic and then you have the wolf on top of the hilltop howling at the harvest moon the forest down here at the bottom and of course the small trees up here a lot of detail in a very small and compact piece and I finished it with the standard Minwax wood stain and rust oleum clear gloss as I usually do here on the channel and I still think it came out amazingly well the clear gloss really gives it an added characteristic and keep in mind the piece that was made in the magazine did not have a backer board on it I think it was meant to have maybe a piece of twine hung from it to really hang in a rustic cabin to really give it that fall and autumn vibe and really make it look rustic. The more I sat at the scroll saw and I was scrolling this piece out and seeing it come to life, the more I wanted it to have a backer board on it, which is just a quarter inch piece of plywood here that is painted in the standard black color because if this was ever hung from like a lighter colored wall, I always want the detail to be able to stand out and I think the black really shows off everything and you can easily depict what everything is even from 
from far away. So really, really cool. And again, I think this depicts a perfect fall and autumn scene. You have the wolf howling at the harvest moon. Again, fall is right around the corner. It is fast approaching as summer 2023 comes to an end. So I had a lot of fun making this. And once again, the pattern came from the latest issue of Scrawsaw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine by Fox Chapel Publishing, available on newsstands everywhere. This is issue 92, and the full design comes from page 63. And there you go. You can see that it does not have a backer board on it. It kind of blends in with the backdrop that they provided the photo with. And then the full-size pattern that we photocopied came from the full-size pattern pull-out section. And I will keep this folded up and keep it protected in case I ever want to do any of the other designs. But thank you, Scrawsaw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine and Fox Chapel Publishing for everything. I had a lot of fun making this project, and I hope you guys like watching me make this project. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me across all my social medias under the Artisan Pirate name. As always, links to contact me as well as links to all my socials will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one. And remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.